With Hello, ladies and gentlemen! Welcome to the Johnson Show! Two-time certified therapist, two-time hula hooping champion, Wayne Johnson! When I was a youngster, another slave went to the store without a master knowing. When he came back, my master wanted me to help him tie him up to be whipped, but I refused. When the other slave tried to run away, our master picked up a heavy iron weight and threw it at him. He missed the other slave and hit me. It nearly crushed my skull and left a deep scar. I was unconscious for days and suffered from seizures for the rest of my life. As a slave, I was never shown any mercy, and not many slaves were any different. There is nothing right about oppressing human beings. Oh, that sounds horrible. So tell me, in your lifetime, you played a major role in the Underground Railroad. You led 19 trips into the South and rescued hundreds of slaves. But how did you participate in the Civil War? I helped the Union Army and their worthy cause by acting as a spy and sometimes a nurse during the war. I remember during the war on June 1st, 1863, I was helping Colonel James Montgomery free slaves from plantations in South Carolina. I set off on my mission early in the morning along the Cumbie River. I had three gunboats and several hundred men with me. Back then, I had many scouts who informed me about the positions of the Confederates so I knew where they were hiding, where they had barrels of gunpowder and torpedoes in the water. I passed on all this information to Colonel Montgomery. Then the Union made their move and destroyed anything that could aid the Confederates. Buildings and bridges were set on fire and completely destroyed. By the end, I had helped free about 750 slaves and we didn't lose a single man in the attack. That is how. I came to work as a spy during the Civil War. So Harry, what are some ways that the Civil War has directly affected you and your life? Well, it was very hard. That was my husband. He was, went back as a slave, and so I lost my husband. And many of my friends were killed, who were severely injured in the war. Many amputations. I was disturbing. Is there anything about the United States or your life that you missed from before the Civil War started? No. Being a slave, that was horrible. But after I escaped, I, the Underground Railroad, I was one of the first to be able to use the Underground Railroad because I was given instructions from strangers and eventually I was sent out that I was in the North and I was safe at And it was not safe for me, even being a runaway after I had escaped for many, many years. It was still not a safe area for me in the South. Now, I'm still not very good. What do you think some of the outcomes of this war will be, other than, of course, I think slavery? Well, I think that the Confederacy will have to redrawn up because they, because of uh, the great snake effect that the general coming up with to solve the south of all the supplies and everything and think that they'll be able to the union will be able to force them back into being part of the United States of America. Yes. So do you think that the end of this whole war will be the end of the fight for really uh, for complete equality for African Americans? No. 
I don't know if that will ever happen. I think that it's going to be a long time before that will ever happen. I don't think that, I think that slavery for sure will be ended, but I don't know if racial equality is going to happen until a long hundred of years. I think that there will always be a struggle for those. that helps you come up with these special plans? Did you have an, a, an education when you were a little girl? No, I'm unable to read and write. Um, I can read, you know, basic little fast something. I, I'll hear anything, any plans during the war, or anything to run away, or how to run away, whether it learn through spiritual, or worse not for the other slaves. Sometimes we'd be able to go visit the other slaves and that was a great thing to be able to do because I just learned about what was going on with other places, their plantations, their plans, but overall I really did not have any education. So, are there any specific memories from the Civil War that have really stuck with you over the years? Oh yes, there are plenty. Once during the war, there was a lovely man who'd be dying. Poor man had dysentery. That means severe diarrhea. I knew I could help if I find some of the roots and herbs that grew in Maryland. One night, I search the woods until I find lilies and geraniums. Water lilies, that is. I boiled them and make a brew and gave it to the man who'd be dying. He slowly recovered. Throughout the war, many more people survived because of this brew. If they spent a day in my shoes as a slave, they would understand how hard it is. Even just one day. If we were the masters and they were the slaves, they would understand. But they don't. They all know what slaves now in the United States of America, all is black. How I got you. No man has the right to tell another man or woman that they are a slave. You cannot be just thrown into slavery. That is like a prison, but a physical prison for your body. You cannot live. It is horrible. And the Civil War, the darn Confederates, they just think they own everything. And they're just rebels. The rebels, they're horrible. And they just need to be taught that lesson that slavery is wrong. <laughs> Now we're back at her house in Auburn, Auburn, New York, to have a follow-up interview with viewer questions. Harriet? No. No. Oh. It's Harriet Tubman. This can't be. This can't be. Oh. No. No. It was so. Please hold tight. The Johnson Show will return shortly after we resolve some difficulties on the set. This just can't be. 
one of the greatest Americans to ever live, Harriet Tubman. She fought for her country and for her people and for what is right in this world. I can only imagine what her last words were, what her last moments were like. Give my love to all the churches. <laughs> I go away to prepare a place for you, and where I am ye may be also. Today, March 10, 1913, at 8.30 p.m., Harriet's life, or Harriet Tubman's life has ended. This episode of The Johnson Show is dedicated to Sammy the Worm. Veronica will miss you, but the rest of us think you're disgusting. Veronica's eating worms right now. I'm not eating a worm! I'm holding a worm. Look. That's disgusting. Yeah, I know. Um, that's why I'm filming it. Oh, oh, watch this. No, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna eat it. That's oh, yeah. Fox taking a pencil. <laughs> I screwed off. Hey, I got this. Hey. <laughs> Put the skirt on while you're moving. You like put it over top of your head. All right. Harriet Tubman. <laughs>